developing situation right here along the coast where we are learning more about the once missing swimmer lost to a drowning in the South Strand. This is WMBF News at 6 o'clock. I'm Eric Weisfeld, and we were the first to bring you that heartbreaking news of this woman's death. That was last night on WMBF News at 6 o'clock. This is Ashley Lister, who joins us live now in Pauly's Island, telling us more about who she was and sharing a warning for your next beach trip. Tell us, Ashley. Eric, the Georgetown County coroner confirms 22 year old Lily Ho drowned Thursday while swimming right here behind me at the Northern Beach access and her death isn't just leaving her family in Virginia heartbroken, but it's also leaving some South Strand visitors shaken up. Horrible, like so tragic. Witnesses tell me a beautiful day at the beach took a tense and eventually tragic turn Thursday all in the matter of minutes. They told us that they were looking for someone in the water. Polly's Island police say the commotion started when crews helped a struggling swimmer onto the shore before coming to a troubling realization. He had been in distress. He was physically sick and um, and needed assistance getting out of the water. Um, and then went, that's when he informed me that uh, that he was, went into the water with his girlfriend and that he hadn't seen her since. That revelation kicked off the start of a 90 minute search ending when a Coast Guard helicopter reportedly found Ho's body lifeless half a mile from the shore. It's a devastating conclusion for the city's police department whose chief says the area where Ho and her boyfriend had been swimming is often unpredictable and even claimed a 70 year old's life just last summer. In that particular location, sometimes uh, the currents don't act the way you would expect them to act. And while the list of drowning victims has grown by one, some visitors tell me they and those who actually knew her will forever see her as more than just a statistic. Just horrible. I feel for the families, the loved ones, uh, just the other person that was maybe with her. I can't even imagine. There are no lifeguards here on Polly's Island, so officials want you to know there is a risk when it comes to swimming here. Live in Polly's Island, Ashley Listrum, WMBF News.